I'm slowly built up. I've done done. This is my third layer today. Third layer but today. Man, it's it's Holy weirdly shit. the birds singing, the sun, the sort of scenery. It's weirdly, I don't know, like nice and relaxing. Weirdly nice. Yeah, yeah. It's quite. It feels like I'm outdoors, even though I'm not. I'm sat here in an office. <laughs> <laughs> and it's nice actually outdoors so do you reckon like in future you know like people won't go outside it's going to get to a point where people <laughs> yeah. are just going to be inside it's already happened all Man, the time uh, and uh, just <laughs> taking like vitamin D supplements a few years ago do you reckon um, they're going to bring out like foods okay this is an idea what, for an invention foods. okay foods for people who never go out Right, like, like that gives you all the vitamins that you would normally get. Oh yeah, get. um, it's that Soylent stuff. Yeah. Oh, is that what it, it is? Happens. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, that is a thing. So it is food for people. So it's like, it's got an added vitamin, whatever. Yeah, you it's need just to like everything sun. that you kind of need, uh, In... and you just mix water into it, and um, that's it. Bam. Okay. Well, um, I mean, that's yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about, really. Like, I don't know if that's if that's true in a sense because you do need. It, you, diet's all about eating naturally, right? Because we're not... We think, even if we think, right, that we can... Oh, God, I don't know if I want to talk about this. <laughs> okay. I, uh, I'm a big proponent of eating a varied diet, guys. You probably shouldn't just drink, like, vitamin mix and eat chips and chocolate. No, no, you, but no, that's just it. You don't eat anything else. You just have... Um, yeah. What, uh, Soylent. Talk about... <laughs> Soylent Green is people. I mean, why would what? you name... Spoilers. Why would you name your thing after that, though? Man. Oh. Why would you name your product after I like, think... something that's people? It sounds awful. I would edgy. never drink that at all. edgy. Um, you want to be an edgelord. Okay. Man. Uh, but yeah, so a, a few a few years back, um, this is when Skyrim was big. Um, a friend of mine... He was playing Skyrim, and he was doing like super modded Skyrim hmm. that was very. Uh, sorry, um, very. <laughs> I just saw like I'm just <laughs> watching Colin people. Survival does do just yet. watching people die. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> so he was playing it, and uh, one day he was telling me he was like, "Man, like sometimes I like to I like to just go into Skyrim and I like to fire it up and just go out into the wilderness and look up at the stars because it's just so beautiful." Wow, I was just like. Dude, you can do that in real life. Like, fuck, get out of your fucking house. <laughs> you need to need to go know, outdoors for once. I don't think you can in like an urban environment. Mm. The stars are not as bright as when you're out in the countryside. Definitely true, but you know, go go out and go do some camping. Then. Yeah, oh. yeah, go, go out and live in the fucking countryside, did mate? Go do a fucking countryside, idiot. <laughs> oh, the. The South fucking farthing or the murder fields. <laughs> I think I think it's time to close their doors. It's like the South forever. Farthing under Sarah Man. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. fucking get out of here. Yeah, I think You think what? I think this is the end. I think I'm gonna have to close these fields once and for all. <laughs> Just more arches. I don't think it's like efficient enough because up here it's basically like they're just outdoors. Right. Oh, I see. There's that many zombies. Surely oh, only a few. Oh, spawned. I died. <laughs> oh shit. Surely like not hundreds spawned. Just just to. But you wish you had that regeneration science pack now. Am I right? <laughs> Health increase one. Health increase two. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Are you salty about that? Are you? I don't know. No, I'm not really that salty. I think <laughs> it's just quite funny that. I guess it's just a proof of concept, isn't it? Yeah. It's good. It's a good step in the right direction. It's a bit factorio though. But then again, I suppose like. It does sort of share. Um, this game does sort of share some facets with. Maybe that's why I like it. It's like a sort of a simpler, simpler time. Maybe maybe one day this will have a full tech tree that goes from this to conveyor belts and factories and turrets. Oh man, turrets would be good. Oh, turrets would be so fucking like good a gun right now. Turret. Oh my god. I want those turrets from Aliens. Uh... I think we should be more like. You know that guy, pr 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 primitive technology. You know, you should be. It should be even more basic than that. You know, your what? dudes should be like, you know, making a clay, a, like going into a, you know, get getting dirt out of the ground and like mixing water with it, and you know, napping stones together, doing like super primitive 
the you, stuff. No, I, I want. That's what you start de- off depleted with. uranium. Uh, you go you know, from that Gatling to, to depleted uranium Gatling turrets. Yeah, yeah, that's all. All I'm about. Yeah. Um, give me those. Give me that Covarex uranium enrichment. Yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. Man, I was playing Factorio with Sips lately. It's tough. It's a, it's a tough. I, I'm playing it modded though. Which, which mods are you doing? The, the hardest one. Is it Bob's, Bob's and Angels and Angels and... mods? They are. Uh, Poor boy. Are you? Do you have Poor. um? What's it called on there as well? Ex- extended. Oh no, um, I, I don't know what that means. So the same guy who went outdoors to um. What. See the stars. He wouldn't go outdoors to see the stars. Yeah. He um <laughs> Oh, it's the same he, friend of yours. Yeah, yeah. It's it's Jimmy the door goblin. Dude, Jimmy the door <laughs> goblin. You know the oh, guy fuck. you called him a door goblin because he was sat in oh, the Oh the entrance. door goblin! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I met him! Yeah. He was stuck downstairs. Yeah. He was really weird. So in our building, <laughs> right, there we have a lobby. And the lobby is where, you know, it's like at the bottom of our building. No one works there, right? It's owned by the building. And they sometimes people get confused there or leave post there or whatever, and it's it's just it's just kind of a not area, right? Yeah. And uh, one day I saw a person working in the door area, which must be very irritating because people come in and out of the entire building there. There's no receptions or anything. Um, he was sat there on the sort of the, the chair with a laptop, and um, and and I was like, oh, what? You having a? You all right? And he's like, oh yeah. How you doing? I friends with tom and i'm like are you working for us you and he's like no no i work for someone else <laughs> <laughs> yeah he works in the same building as us but he doesn't have an office oh well i think like i don't know why he was sat by that uh, <laughs> J- jimmy's a crazy guy <laughs> <laughs> he's an interesting guy he's um eccentric i think is, an, yeah. is a nice way to put it oh man that's so good the uh, door goblin and is that what i called him that's, that's what you call him <laughs> <it. mean. laughs> <laughs> um, so he he's, was like, oh man, I've just started playing Factorio again. And I was like, oh cool, like what mods are you playing with? Um, and he's like, oh, oh, I'm doing like Bob's and Angels mod. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, like kind of, I think um, Lewis has done, like Lewis and Duncan did. You definitely did Bob's and I'm pretty sure you did Angels at some point. We didn't point. do Angels, we did Bob's, um, yeah. yeah. So like merging those together and he's like, oh, I'm also playing this other one. It's called, uh, it's like, ex- like extended mode or something. Okay. And it just increases. Oh, oh fuck god. me! Jeez. <laughs> oh my god. For God's sake. It wasn't going to be until half one. Yeah. The, there's a light in here that's literally oh, flashing as well. Motherfucker. Shit, the bed. <laughs> that was super, really scary. Super this is supposed to be a relaxed series <laughs> yeah. where we chat about things. For fuck's sake. Carry on. So, what did he say? Stress me out. So he was like, oh, I'm, I'm playing this this mod. It's like extended <laughs> mod. <and> relax. <laughs> Do you want me to come in there and give you a rub, rub down? Ooh. I kind of think so, yeah, I need one. God, I know it's stressful with that fire. It's so sudden, went, like, isn't it? Raced. But this is why people take the bloody batteries out of fire alarms. I yeah, know yeah, I used exactly. to. Christ. Tempted to, honestly. <laughs> It's all come full circle. Right, I fucking burn. Get out every week. I think I did. I triggered it by mentioning fire alarms. Oh, <laughs> It was shit. like, I'm here as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. it's been summoned. Oh, God. Do you remember that time that we were recording and Sips' fire alarm in his office went off? And he and I was like, you can't leave. <laughs> you oh, to, yeah, you yeah, to, yeah. We're in a race for the world challenge. Against <laughs> yeah, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, shit. I've fallen off the building. I've died. Oh, oh well. Wow. Damn it. I just sorry I took Man, maybe if you had those extra health upgrades I don't think it would have saved me I, 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 I know that my <laughs> my slow the building is so massive now oh that God. I have a good minute to contemplate my death before I hit the <laughs> wow. ground it's not a minute it's like a it's giant like multi-story car park it's so what does the extended mods add oh well he's just said like oh it basically makes everything cost um just way, way, way more to build. Right. So it's for um, if the OCD Factorio players, um, if they think the other OCD Factorio players are too casual, right? And they want the most brutal, unpleasant. Some experience. people love that. Some people cannot. They're gagging for that unpleasant experience. They just, they. I can't believe it. These mad people out there, like me and Duncan and Shin, just finished playing Project Ozone, and we found out we were playing on what is effectively. Co- casually called easy mode oh my god and we were like it took 200 episodes <laughs> we had to like work our fingers to the bone it was we were like i'm like 10 years older after finishing that oh series god. it feels like you know 
I was like, there was one point in the series where I yelled, I want to have kids one day. <laughs> wow. um, but yeah, apparently that was easy mode. And there's two other difficulty settings, Titan mode and Kappa mode, which are like, they just make it so, I don't know, a, a, a flipping stone pickaxe takes 17 diamonds or something. I don't know. <laughs> Jesus oh Christ. My fucking God. It's that kind of level, though, I guess. Um, Holy but once shit. you have a. I mean, Factorio is supposed to be largely automated. And so I guess, like. There's probably a, it gets to a point where you could just sort of automate stuff um, and it will just look after itself. I have done 788 beds. Shit. 788 beds. Man, Lewis, I, I think you've got this now. I've got nearly 200. Beds, not colonists. Yeah. Beds. How many, um, how many colonists do you have? I'm at 254. 254? Man, I'm at 206. I was at 333. Oh. But it's dropped to 266, and that was with rehiring new colonists. Right. Uh, I've I've just been chain chain losing them. I'm just putting a couple of bed levels down. To um... welcome to the bed level. <laughs> bed level in the sky. Uh, yeah, sky bed. Just make sure you know someone on Gumtree that can come and pick up your bed. <laughs> uh, you can't just have it. <laughs> That would be entirely unreasonable. That would be insane. What's wrong with you? Well, would you like to cancel? No. Nope. <laughs> no canceling. No canceling. <laughs> we tricked you. <laughs> <laughs> fucking nerd. We've got your money now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how are you going to get your bed home, <laughs> you dingus? <laughs> Good oh. luck sleeping out there. <laughs> yeah, it's in a fucking factory. <laughs> la, la, la. Just a prank, bro. <laughs> oh. These guys, fucking, they got me good. Fucking bed guys. <laughs> they got me good. Oh, man. I hate them. I hate bed guys. What weird how such... But everyone else must have to deal with this mundane crap every day. You know, I, I, I guess, like, just sort of... You don't buy beds very often, you know? That's so, true. So, you know, I, yeah, I've never bought one well, before. We, I bought a bed uh, about three years ago. It was a very smooth process. And <laughs> yeah, they they came, they brought it up the into the fifth floor of my apartment. They built it. Fifth floor oh, of your apartment. Shit. Yeah. They built it as well. They Five built floors. It all, and yeah. to live in a new nice place, sounds like. Yeah. And then they yeah, they, they and then they took away the old one. What do they have on the other what do you have in the other floors of your apartment? Other flats, I assume. Oh, oh! I thought you said your. I thought you were talking about your apartment having five floors. Oh my god, that would be. No, fancy. my apartment is on the fifth floor. The I don't ground have five, floor. I don't have five floors. Is the <laughs> recreation area. I don't even have five rooms. <laughs> <laughs> well, prices in Bristol, you know, you can't can't get much for your money. I'm afraid. Oh man, yeah. I don't have five rooms. I have three rooms in my flat. Though. Three rooms. I know it's terrible. What? But it, but the kitchen and lounge and all that area is like the one. That's kind that, of the rooms of the one. Yeah. And then the hall plus futon and then the bedroom. I suppose bathroom has a door on it, so I suppose that counts. That's kind of, bathroom's definitely four rooms. Room. Yeah, because it has room in the name. That's kind of what gives it away. Yeah. I see. I, I get it. I was, yeah. Um, Ooh, people are coming up to sleep in their sky beds. It's kind of like a fancy hotel, uh, the sky. Okay, I think that's, here's another idea. Uh, okay. Probably already been done. Uh, sky hotel. Sky beds. Sky well, no, they already have water just, beds. Just like, no, like, like a, like and, um, and land beds. Like kind of. Oh, air bed, yeah. Damn. Like Damn. a cloud bed. A cloud the bed. Clouds. There's beds, and you. It's like sleeping in the clouds because it's like a bed level, right. like cloud level. Bed, beds at cloud level. So, um, you. <laughs> stay with me. I'm getting there. <laughs> you build a hotel, right? Yeah, but it's yeah, just yeah. like a load of scaffolding up until the clouds. <laughs> yeah. And then you could get like an elevator up to the cloud level and you could sleep and your window looks out over the clouds and it's that, like sleeping on a cloud. It's that, glass floor as well. Oh. Does it have to be just scaffolding like rather than any kind of like foundations? It can be like a designer building. Okay. Yeah. Like it does, but a cheap one. Right. It's cheap to build these designer buildings, right? Like, like it's almost like a statue, but obviously strong foundations. You don't, want, you don't want any. We're not, we're not building any old shit here. Dunk. What if it's like a clear day? What if it's a? Well, in that case, it's you know, you, just a good view. We're, we're built in England, Doug. It's never going to be. How a clear high day. is this? <laughs> They're only available in Seattle, Manchester, 
like places where it's raining all the time. Some places are like that. Right, How high? So as high as the clouds. The rain. We're on the airplane. I looked so it's out like the over the clouds, ever. and it was like look in. I was like the airplane was just like above the clouds, but kind of like skidding along them, like it was like a land speeder. If I was the pilot. You know, because when you're up above the clouds, mm. it's kind of like a different world up there. The floor is a different level. I and took my drone above the clouds the other day. Did you? Really? Oh, they yeah. were quite low, though. Oh. Oh, shit. I guess the clouds do go at different levels. Mm. That's true. Hmm, I didn't think of that. But maybe then you just build the hotel so some of them are like the cumulonimbus <laughs> rooms. <laughs> and some of them are like the, so the different rooms. Your, your experience is going to be vastly dependent on the weather. No, how about how about... New idea. Okay. okay. The rooms can go up and down. So oh. it's like it's like a big spider. Okay. Like imagine a Ooh. huge spider structure and it can lift up. Oh right, like one of those to like wherever the clouds are. Rides. So it's yeah, always yeah. above the clouds. Why don't you just have like a giant pole with like a rotating hotel on the pole and that smashes where the clouds are? Tom, we ain't doing no fucking shit with a pole. You can do your own pole hotel. This giant, is cool. Giant, giant pole, pole hotel. But you want the giant spider hotel. But it's not a spider. I won't call it that. It'll be called the... <laughs> the sky spider. The sky arachnid. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It'll be, no, it'll be called something cool like the... Like the... Um, sky, sky bed. Sky bed. Like I said, I've come sky up with the beds. idea. What? I'm not changing it now. I've put a lot of money into Ooh, this. What, why don't you get rid of the building idea? Have like a hotel that's like an airship. Oh, that's a much better idea, Tom. Well done. Oh, yeah, actually, that is a yeah. much better idea. Because this, you you uh, <laughs> this is why you're here, to keep me grounded. Uh, well, although that's is, not you what just, you want. You could anchor it to wherever you want it as Except well. Except you're not keeping me grounded. You're, you're, open, yeah. you're letting me, letting me fly. So it's fly. like airship. full of helium. Uh, although you don't use helium these days, do you? Yes, they yeah, do. They don't use hydrogen helium. anymore because that's too dangerous. I thought they used like a mix of something that was like even more like sort of badass. Maybe <laughs> what? 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 Anti gravity material? Yeah, they, yeah. They, have, they can't use anything but helium, can they? G mod grav balls. No, they have to use G -mod helium. G mod grav balls. Um, I think the reason they used to use hydrogen was because um, easy to get. Easy to get. Well, no, it, well, partly, but also when they, what they have to do is, in order to, oh, that was morning, I guess, yep. in order to go up and down, okay, you have to burn gas, um, or, so, sorry, to go forwards, right? So if you're in a Zeppelin, you want to go forwards, you have to burn, like, some fuel. sort of fuel, right? Mm -hmm. And that makes your ship lighter. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to so ever go down? How are you going to land? Ow. Yeah, exactly. That's the question. But apparently, I think the way it works is that if you use, like, these bags of gas to power your engines that are the same lightness as air... Mm. Um, oh, I see. Then it won't, it won't make it... Then it'll make it be equal. And mm. I think that this gas that they use to power the engines is that same... Like, very similar to I see. air. So they could fill up these bags. Can you not have just, like, electricity? How much, does, how much does electricity weigh? Batteries are heavy. That's but true. I guess like, they don't change like a green change Zeppelin. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what? That's a really good idea. You could like plug it in at the end. Yeah, we should yeah. have Zeppelins back, man. That would be that would be so cool. I saw um, when we were in Cologne at Gamescom. I saw a plane flying oh. over Gamescom. Yeah, yeah. With a banner behind it saying like. Far Cry you know. Five. Oh yeah, it was Far Cry Five, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There you go. A little bit of promotion for Far Cry Five. I saw that. Well done. I like it. More of that. More of that, please, people. I like planes and balloons and zeppelins. Uh, and I, it's working. Go out and buy Far Cry Five, everyone. Just, that, just. <laughs> I want, I want them to know that was a cool thing to do. Yeah, yeah. Because like, I like that. I'm a big fan of flying stuff like that. And I was like walking along in Cologne. And I was like, no. Oh, what was that? And. Um, <laughs> You know, it made me think, Duncan oh, that was does cool. not like planes <laughs> or airships. I like boats <laughs> and trains. <laughs> All right, more boats and trains as well. Everyone. I want a train with a banner behind it. That would be cool. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> God, what? Just like streaming behind it. Oh, yeah. God. It just imagine... go all floppy at the, every station, just flop on the floor. Or if you like go, go past the station, it's just like whipping into people and dragging them with you. Like, oh, my ouch. God. Yeah, it would be like this horrible whip that rushes. If, if no one could stay on a station with it. Also, like, don't people, don't 
toilets onto trains like poop out onto the tracks. Yeah. Exactly. So like it would drag along the tracks all the time and like it would get all poop stained. Oh. That's not what you want, Duncan. You don't want. You'd, you'd, you'd have helium at the end. Poop stain. So it always oh, floats. Ah, oh, perfect. <laughs> Oh, combine the airship <laughs> oh and the train. Oh my god, you're a genius. <laughs> ah, fuck! What are you doing? I keep falling off. <laughs>